I'm John Mackay in Glasgow. And I'm Kellyanne Woodland at Leith Docks in Edinburgh. This is the STV News at six. Good evening, live from Leith Docks in Edinburgh, the scene of a major incident after this huge vessel tipped over in dry dock. 33 people have been left injured, 21 taken to hospital. Everyone thought to have been on board the vessel has been accounted for. Locals, though, this evening are being advised to avoid this area. That's the advice, avoid the area if you can. Well, the alarm was raised this morning and a big rescue operation swung into action. Ambulances and air ambulance, fire crews, police and trauma teams were all involved as this vessel tipped to a 45 degree angle. Well, we'll have reports on the condition of those who've been hurt by this major incident. But first, here's Kay Nicholson. This was the scene at Imperial Dock in Leith this morning, amid gusts of around 50 miles an hour. As emergency services scrambled, the scale of the incident became clear. It's horrific, absolutely horrific. I mean, it's not something that usually happens down here. It's just unfortunate. Pretty serious. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that there was actually people. I just thought it was a ship that had tipped over and didn't know there was actually people going to be on it. So uh, that's, that's quite tragic, actually. 33 people were injured, 21 of whom were taken to hospital. NHS Lothian said the Royal Infirmary of Edinburgh's A&E department had been placed on standby with a warning for people not to attend A&E unless absolutely necessary. Hoping no one's been badly injured anyway and hoping everyone gets a full recovery but yeah I don't know much about what goes on over that site. I'm kind of stuck in this little car park here but yeah most of the time it's uh, fairly quiet around here but you have lots and lots of sirens and a couple of helicopters going around you know something's happened. It was certainly very windy this morning. Um, we had to strap down all of our materials and check the fence lines. Um, you can see the scaffolding at the top of the ship there, which was quite concerning considering it was a refurbishment. We've had high winds. Uh, there's been other ships that have been uh, docked and on dry dock, but nothing like this before now. So incidents of this type would appear to be very rare. The will be criteria in place for working in a port and so on. For the different phases, there will be different criteria. There's a number of different stakeholders involved in the operation. It's not a one-person operation, so there will be a number of safety checks involved. The ship RV Petrol is a research vessel commissioned to investigate historically significant shipwrecks and underwater ecosystems. It was formerly owned by Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen and placed into long-term moorage at Leith in 2020. Today's incident sparked concern from local politicians. Like everyone else, I've been watching the news uh, with great concern for people who are injured and with gratitude to our uh, emergency services for supporting people at the incident. But it, yeah, it's really worrying. It must have been terrifying for those involved. I would encourage the people of Leith to continue to listen to Police Scotland and others and stay away from the area uh, and for the people of Edinburgh more widely to listen to the messages from NHS Lothian to only go to A&E if it really is an emergency. Aberdeen-based Dales Marine, which runs the Leith Dry Dock, said it couldn't give more information on the incident. It says its priority is to support those involved and their families. The Health and Safety Executive says an investigation is now underway. Well, Kay is with us here now at Leith Docks. And Kay, what more do we know about the investigation? Well, authorities are remaining tight-lipped on what might have caused this. You know, they just say it's too early to say and they do not want to speculate. But no doubt they'll be looking at all possible factors, including, of course, how the vessel was secured in the holding here at the dock. You'll see it's still very windy here tonight. I'm sure that weather will also be part of the investigation. And, Kay, this really was a major incident, wasn't it? It was. We understand that around 50 people were on board. And this afternoon we had confirmation that, that US citizens were among those injured this morning. The US consulate in Edinburgh here says it's monitoring the situation and offering support to those involved. Meanwhile, the UK Sailor Society is among the, the many different organisations lending its voice of support and concern about what happened today, saying that many were seriously injured. 
So this is a big investigation tonight. Kay, is there, has there been any update from the police this evening? There has. Just before we went on air, Police Scotland sent us an update um, just saying that officers are still here on site, but everyone on board, as you said earlier, have been accounted for. Police said th there was no risk to the wider public at any point, but they thanked the public for their patience and they're continuing to ask people to avoid the area if they can tonight. All right, Kay, well, thanks very much for bringing us right up to date there. Well, when it emerged how serious this incident was, the health board, NHS Lothian, took the unusual step of advising people to avoid A&E unless, unless it was an absolute emergency. Well, many of the injured were taken to Edinburgh Royal Infirmary. So let's cross live there now and join our reporter, Caroline Lewis. And Caroline, do we have any updates on the condition of any of those who were hurt here this morning? Well, as we've heard, lots of people injured, 33 in total, 21 badly enough to be hospitalised. And the majority of them were brought here to Edinburgh Royal Infirmary, a major acute hospital well equipped to deal with this kind of mass trauma. But in the last hour or so, we have been told that nine of those brought here have now been discharged, but eight are still here and some of those are seriously injured. But just how many and the nature of their injuries hasn't yet been disclosed. We also know that there are four waiting to be discharged from Western General Hospital as well. But this was a major response by the emergency uh, services. It took uh, 12 ambulances, uh, uh, an air ambulance and three trauma response units just some of the vehicles that were sent to the scene and as you mentioned the hospital here decided to tell people to stay away while just how many injuries uh, the details of just how many people were going to be injured were emerging. All right, Caroline, and thanks very much. And obviously all thoughts are with those who have been injured in this major incident. Well, if we get any more updates, we will, of course, bring you the very latest and maybe back later in the programme. But for now, I'll hand you over to John for the rest of the day's news and sport. Now let's return to our top story with Kellyanne in Leith. Yes, John, these docks were the scene of a major emergency response this morning after this ship became dislodged from its holding in dry dock and tipped to an angle of about 45 degrees. 33 people have been left injured and the very latest update we have from NHS Lothian tonight is that eight people remain in hospital, some of them with serious injuries. That's the very latest from NHS Lothian. Well, an investigation is now underway to establish exactly what happened here this morning. Well, we do, of course, have more on this major incident on our late news and, of course, on our website. But from all of us here on the ground in Leith and in our newsrooms, it's good night from us.